What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with another ERB reaction. It's time we're checking out Jim Henson versus Stan Lee, okay? Now, I don't know much about Jim Henson, okay? I brought out my old trusty phone um, and started doing some research and stuff, and it looks like uh, he was an American puppeteer, animator, all that stuff. Uh, and oh, he created the Muppet characters, okay? Uh, Fraggle Rock. Uh, and he was the director of Dark Crystal uh, I've, uh, in the Labyrinth. So um, I've never seen the labyrinth my wife tells me it's a pretty good uh pretty good movie um but i have seen dark crystal and that was very very interesting that's interesting i, I don't know why i didn't know that was jim henson <clears throat> uh and it looks like he died on 1990 which kind of sucks because that's when i was born oh that's kind of crazy um i know i feel like i know plenty about stanley i mean i know like all the history but you know with all the marvel movies and everything i feel like i've had ample enough time anyways this is a five minute battle so this is going to be a pretty pretty lengthy one even by their standards right so that's the thing they must be battling for a while so let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up oh and also uh recipe stan lee right so by the you know as i'm doing this reaction both of them are unfortunately dead so let's go stan lee worship jerk hudson kermit the frog okay yeah puppets Hey. The mind behind the Hulk against the Gip Marvel and the Fraggles. Just your friendly neighborhood writer man with a secret identity of Spider -Man. a super MC whose raps are as dark as my shade. Super M with oh, Super MC. MC also uh, Marvel characters maybe too. I know MC is rapper, but also maybe Marvel characters as well. Neighborhood writer man with a secret identity of a super MC whose raps are as dark as my shade. You squealing like. Okay, the Muppets. The uh, the I do remember that one. Okay. Okay, so yes, yes, Skeksis, which was the uh, antagonist of Dark Crystal. Um, was Jim Henson a hippie? Or did he just appear as though he was a hippie? It's a little bit of snip and skippy. Heck, that face on your neck ain't sexy. One pot sweetums, the other pot skexy. Step up to Lee and you get your butt kicked. Your muppet stuff will up and stuff his butt kiss. The rope for Igno and the comics code. So keep your frog a pig show moving right along down the road. Okay, um. Mm, where did I learn about the comics code from? Oh, what what was it? Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm probably going to get this wrong because I don't know specifically what the comic comics code was. But I believe... If they were going to publish something in a newspaper, they had to write it a certain way. So to avoid this, they ended up publishing their own graphic novels or something like that. I don't know. I know it's like super loose. I remember reading it about somewhere, somewhere. I just can't remember. Um, he said he broke. I broke for Rig. I broke for Rig. For Rig. For Rig. No. Um, is that the original actor, Lou Frigo? of the uh uh the hulk right f e r r i g yeah lou frigo okay yeah he was original i don't know what he means by i broke him though i just know him as the uh original actor of the whole them old movies no and the comics code so keep your frog and pig show moving right along down the road kermit and piggy glad you got that out that anger can clutter your mind Ooh, you're voice. a creative man stanley yeah. so let's just leave it behind because i okay. can sense your tension once the verbal fencing starts commencing there is no defense against the dance jim henson is dispensing that this dude coming in with the with the smooth voice fencing dispensing dented oh that's that's flow is tight that's tight. Fencing starts commencing. There is no defense against the dense Jim Henson is dispensing. And I'll clench all your strings like you're a puppet in suspension. Puppet. All your superhero friends in. Yeah, because you're going to need a vengeance. He's so smooth, but these bars are like hitting so hard. Clenching all your strings like you're a puppet. That's, that's, that's a fire bar because he's a puppeteer, you know, so I like that. But that vengeance bar? Fire. But in suspension. Call your superhero friends in. Yeah, because you're going to need a vengeance. Vengeance. Let me mention, I'm impressed by all the vision that it took for you to sign your name on all of Jack Kirby's comic books. So there's this debate about Stan Lee not actually creating the heroes, and it was actually Jack Kirby that did it, right? I actually don't know all the details surrounding that. Nice try, Frogman, but Jack was a friend of mine. Swift, that was a low blow. He did his own thing, and now you've made it clobbering time. Long 
Okay, the thing clambering. Oh, you taught children to count and spell. Then you taught your own kids how to drop your wife harder than you flopped on SNL. No. Oh my goodness, Dan is coming. He's telling you, Henson. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'm a marvel of a party pooper. I'll scare your turtle neck like a doozer stick and put you out to pasture like Mr. Hooper. I I'm sorry, Jim. All right, guys, I don't know who I don't know what he's talking about. Mr. Hooper, who, who's, who's Mr. Hooper? I feel like once I put it in, Mr. Hooper, Sesame Street death. All right, so he died. Mr. Hooper's last appearance on Sesame Street aired in 1983. These last segments was 1982. All right, so put you uh, he died. It looks like he died of a heart attack. So he. He put you out to pasture, to pasture like Mr. Hooper, pasture like, 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 uh, pasture, uh, land covered with grass out to pasture. So buried him. Okay. That's a bar. Put you out to pasture. That's pretty dirty. Uh, I'm sorry, Jim. Sometimes <laughs> I can't control my rage. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of things that you can't control at my age. But the truth <laughs> is I, I miss you. You were gone too soon. You were like watching a beautiful sunset. No. Oh, Don't be sad. oh wow that's actually pretty a beautiful sunset at noon right sun don't set at noon that's halfway through the day so oh what age did he die halfway sun's halfway in the sky he was taken too soon right jim sorry i'm gonna look it up again how old was he when he died uh uh was not telling me here Jim Henson. Basically, I'm not going to get down to it, but it looks like that bar means he was taken too soon because obviously the sun doesn't set at noon. We all have a time to go. Yeah. Most of the internet thought that you died 12 years ago. But the four will always be fantastic. The Hulk will always be incredible. The words you the hearts of incredible Hulk. are indelible. There is no beef between us. We're two minds of the same kind. And there is no man who could ever muck with what we we've left behind. It's Walt Disney. <laughs> the way he came in. Okay. M uh M K M I C K Y. So Mickey. Okay. But what does Walt Disney he said the in the hold on. It Disneyland Lord of your intellectual property, right? Because Disneyland, uh, not Disneyland, sorry, Disney acquired uh, Marvel. Disney acquired the Muppets too. I guess so, right? I'm sitting here thinking about Muppet Treasure Island, and if I remember, if I recall correctly, you see that old VHS. Du, 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 du. Is that what it was? Yeah, um, that blue screen. I guess it was a Disney logo at the beginning of that. I feel like, when did Disney acquire that? Intellectual property! So get back to work! That's my time you're wasting! I didn't buy you for billions so you can play around to oh. You belong to Disney! Which means you stay busy! Cranking out magic and assembly line wins! I think this is, uh, I think this might be a uh, reference, you stay busy, to uh, the support the alleged working conditions of uh, being a Disney uh, employee. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of factual. It's kind of crazy, right? Three circles, right? You put that anywhere, it's immediately noticed or notice noticeable as Disney. Just three circles. That's some good logo design right there. Clearly, there's nobody near me. I'm owning this battle. In fact, I own this whole series. So Disney owns ERB. Must have been in the past because I know they don't. When did Disney own ERB? I know Disney doesn't own ERB anymore. Because they are independent. I always thought they were independent. 
They must have got from underneath them. Hop on my steamboat, right? One of uh, they still use that uh, Mickey Mouse drives on a steamboat. I'll put a smile on your face and green in your pocket. You'll be safe and insured when you're under my employ. Now look at it, gaze upon my empire of joy. Hold on, hold on. Look at all this. Look, look at all this stuff on there. Artist boards. Oh, go back, go back. Get it, gaze upon my empire. Let's see ABC over there, A and E. Are these? Does Disney own? All of these TV shows, yo. yo, I mean, some of these are obviously replicated. Is that ESPN? Yo, this, I know Disney's powerful. They might be more powerful than I thought. All right, well, I guess when it comes to winners, just like straight battles, Jim Henson probably, you know, he came through this kind of call, you know, uh, Stan Lee had one and a half of just straight bars of dissing Jim Henson, right? And then he then he started apologizing. And Jimmy Jim Henson had a couple of bars there. So I'm probably gonna have to give the battle to Stan Lee. Um this Walt Disney just came in there to flex. You know, he's pretty much just flexing that I own you now get back to work. And I'm not gonna count him. So I'm gonna say Stan Lee won this battle to me anyways. Especially that uh Snuffleupagus bar as well so you guys let me know who y'all thought won this uh that's the end of this battle or end of this battle it's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out